you know, uh, in some of my videos, I've stated that uh, blogging is very hard. Like, make a video for 30 minutes. Uh, and uh, I said, open challenge. Let's see any one of you make a video for 30 minutes. To my surprise, one of my clients who I'm coaching for personal branding actually <laughs> made a video for 30 minutes, 32 minutes, I think, 32 or 34 minutes. And uh, the funny thing is, uh, it's a nice video. It's, it's not a bad video. But there were a couple of things which I noticed. Number one, <laughs> you know, I walk and I talk, right? So this client of mine took a camera, took his iPhone or whatever, Samsung or whatever. And uh, he did a video when talking, okay? Right off the bat, I felt as if he is trying to copy me. So that's the first thing. I, I'll, I'll first tell you my observation, then I'll tell you what was good and not good. But right off the bat, let me tell you, I genuinely appreciate the proactivity. That, that shows the fire, drive and desire to improve. Only thing is because of... Oh, another doggy. Hey, doggy. A new doggy. A new doggy. Huh. So many brown dogs. This is not my dog, this is another dog. <laughs> okay, so I appreciate that shows fire, you know, the desire, drive, proactivity, very good. But there were areas to correct, so this is what I'm uh, doing right now. Okay, so the first thing was, I noticed the, this guy was making the video when walking and talking, just like me. Okay, that's number one. The second thing was, the video was about... He said, it's a nothing series, like how I have my nothing series, fine. And number three, he made it for 30 minutes when he was talking to me, like he was saying, sir, and he's talking to the camera that is addressing me, fine. So I noticed these three things. Yes, what happened? My baby wants attention. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So these three things. Now, this is what I told him. Number one, I said, I understand you admire me, I understand you appreciate, you look up to me. But that doesn't mean you have to copy me. That's number one. Number two is, you need to understand the context and the perspective as to why I give that advice. Number one is, yes, making a video for 30 minutes is not easy. And he has done that. That's bravo. The second thing is, which he didn't consider is, I make 30 minute videos every day. No, I make 30 minute videos, not one, but multiple. 15 minutes, 20 minutes, okay. Number two is, uh, number three is, I make every single day, I make a video. Number four is, the video is based on specific topics, which I have either experienced or qualify. Number five is, there is a reason why I share these videos, not only to offer value, but to also market myself. Because if you don't offer value and you just say, this is me, take my service, nobody will come. So you need to offer value first. Number six is, this is in relation to my work. Okay, this is the work I do. Number seven is, it's geared towards the end result, that is earning more money. Okay. And last, if not the least, it is, trying to stay relevant, sharpening your skills, and trying to become better. So I explained all these things. Now I told him, I, I'm not discounting what you did. You did a fantastic job. But now the question is, here are my questions. Number one is, did you speak on the subject that you're good at? He said, no. Number two is, you made the video for me, correct? I said, yeah. What if you put this video online for the world to see? No, 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 sir, don't do that. I said, why? Sir, people will make fun. I said, exactly. When you put something out there into the world, you will get critics, haters, and people will make fun of you. Okay? Uh, so you need to be, you need to have the thick skin for that. And that is why you should hold yourself accountable for what you share. Then the next point, what I told him is, it's very easy for a youngster to lecture the whole world. Work hard, focus, achieve your dreams, believe in yourself. 
all that is fine but then the world will turn around and ask what have you done that you are lecturing me just imagine see this is the problem in today's coaching industry today's self improvement industry they keep talking about earn seven figure income be number one in the world uh, achieve millions of dollars when they themselves have not achieved this when they themselves are not rich or so they just portray who they are not in fact most of the people who are rich who sell courses oh i am a multi millionaire i have earned seven figure income or they earned that seven figure by selling a course that talks about seven figure they didn't make a seven figure income through any other means they made a seven figure income by selling you the course that makes a seven figure income so they are simply fooling people and selling them dreams and making money which people eventually find out the next point which i didn't mention but since i'm talking about it you always yeah, yeah i told him i told him this uh, you should always assume that you are not smart that the people who are watching you are smarter and then that keeps you humble and what it focuses on is how can i communicate an idea when i'm not smart and people are smarter than me so what should i do see the only area where i speak with authority is where i have a track record and personal branding is where i have a track record ue i've been 40 years i have a track record uh but the other areas let's say for example uh raising children i don't have a track record i don't know what it is to raise a child that is why if you see my videos on raising a child i sometimes ask questions i sometimes say this was a incident that happened this is where i felt upset this is where i failed i share an opinion in fact when uh, my baby climbed on the chair and there was hot oil on the gas and when i found out i saw it in the camera i came rushed my wife was busy doing something else i took a wooden spoon and i whacked her with it and i gave her a small hit on the uh, face not a hard one and she did cry and you know the baby was so i shouted at the baby because it was hot oil imagine if the baby fell in the oil and my wife was careless and she apologized and the gas was on huh, by the way she had totally like not even thought about it so when i did uh, give my wife a slap not like hard or this fingers you know i was upset i was and I, that video is up i was very upset about it i as very upset very very upset but it was my first time first time of such an incident happening such a first time uh, you know that doesn't mean that oh now i can slap my wife i won't feel anything no i'm a, i've never done that in my life in all my years this was the first time so i was very upset about it and i did share so th- for me i'm going through a learning curve of being a parent even though i'm like 45 there are some people who are parents at 20s or 25 now that doesn't mean that they are better and i'm worse or i am better and they are worse but the only thing is because i have more number of years in my life maybe i'm a bit more mature than a 20 year old so it's very important when you are communicating content to be you know to have this thought that the people i'm talking to are smarter than me more than, that is why i get people who are 50 60 year old who are rich and successful they they talk to me they as a lawyer is able to relate to you you have a mature style of thinking now does that mean i'm mature in every area no a lot of things i don't know but then again remember there's one other area where you offer an opinion even though you do not have experience for example cryptocurrencies nfts or oh, there i don't have any experience okay and i have openly told people but i offer a logical perspective and i state my logical reasons so this is what you need to keep in mind so what is the what is the message that i want to give you through this video whenever you get anyone giving you advice or whenever you listen to anyone don't just take the advice point blank if suppose they say uh you know 
believe in your dream and never give up on your passion and you know i was sleeping on the sofa i was eating this thing and there are some people who are box want to be a boxer want to be a painter who want to be a film actor who want to be a cricketer now the mistake that people make is they assume just because they have a passion just because somebody else became a cricketer football player basketball player wrestler uh, they can also become the chances of you achieving this is it's much more practical for you to hope to get a lottery than to get your dream coming true for this so keep a perspective understand that exception to a rule is not a rule you know is not the standard or i said about speaking 30 minutes that doesn't mean you make oh i spoke about 30 minutes no what what was the reason i told you it's to earn an income it's to follow your passion your dream and make it a reality it's to market and sell yourself that's what i meant it's not ah you made a 30 minute video finish so even if you follow other people who tell you you know i trained i lifted so heavy and i psyched myself and i you know i achieved it his bone density is different his body type is different maybe he is taking steroids you need to keep all this in mind right don't just mindlessly follow someone's advice because they give you oh you pray allah 10 times a day and you'll get oh i pray to uh, lord shiva and my prayers were answered uh, maybe his message is pray to god or have faith fine but that doesn't mean just because he got it you are going to get it na? like you know gary vaynerchuk oh you need a hustle you need to this in he is talking all yes there is goodness in his advice but don't take it at face value just because i tattooed my face and i was a rebel does that mean you tattoo your face come on man so i hope this makes you understand the importance of having a context and having understanding the perspective on why advice is given or why guidance is given don't just blindly follow anything without keeping these two things in mind all right i hope this made sense sense to you anyway this is what i wanted to share all right is take care this is what a 12 minute video this is my third third video today all right is take care this is me signing off now behind the scenes walking home uh, see chicken and see chicken hey chicken i that silly habit chasing chicken it doggy Okay. All right. Let's take care. Chill.